Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in today's special episode, I will be taking you through a small tour of my succulents. This I'm sure will make a lot of you succulent crazy people very happy. So let us begin with the tour and updates. So we will start with the biggest succulent I have in my possession which is the agave. This is a beautiful specimen with thorns that can do well in part shade or full sun. But it is not a very good indoor plant. This is more of an outdoor landscape focal point kind of a plant. If you want an extensive care tip on this plant exclusively then comment below. Next, we move on to my succulent potpourri as I would like to call this. So we have our favorite aloe vera, the Cressula, and we also have this Aeonium which has gone completely dormant. So what I've done is that I've taken a small cutting of this and I'm planning to propagate this because I've read somewhere that you should not be pruning your Aeoniums when it is going through dormancy. So this is just an experiment that I'm doing and I will update you on this hopefully very soon. A lot of succulent varieties like this and the Kalinkoi go through summer dormancy strangely, whereas the other common plants we have in the garden go through winter dormancy. This diversity is important so that we are not disappointed either in the summer or in the winter. Next, we move on to everyone's favorite, the snake plant or the Zanzibaria. And some of you call this the mother-in-law's tongue, which I think as sensible gardeners, we need to stop using that term because to say the least, it is demeaning and very misogynistic in a way. So with that little bit of gyan, look how bushy the snake plant looks. For the before look of this plant, you can watch the video link above. And this is the succulent waterfall that I have. The Plectranthus prostratus which was supposed to fall from the jug fell into this container and has more or less taken over this really heavy container. So let's have a close up of the jug. So we have some sedum carnicolor and then this I think is the ghost plant which has self propagated. So for those who find it difficult to grow succulents, this is a living example of how easy it is to grow these beautiful plants. Then a small string of pearls which I love the most. This is from the Senecio family, beautiful trailing plant that can make your heart skip a beat. Then the Angelina sedum which is much more efficient and non-fussy than the lemon coral sedum which needs replanting now and then. This is my succulent bucket. I need to revamp this and give it a different look. So this will be one of my most awaited projects that will be coming to you very soon. So for now we have this Echeveria which has not given up on me. So a lot of you grow Echeverias indoors and they don't grow or they die. This is because they really like bright light conditions. So please don't keep your Echeverias in really low light locations and watering also must be done only when you see the soil go dry. Take care of these two things and you will get a good rosette shaped Echeveria like this. But the Echeveria gets stressed out in full sun, so avoid that as well. Then this is the Havortia variety or probably an aloe. I always get confused with this. Then we have the Sedum Kani color and look at the pup it has given out. Then we have some trailers here, the turtle vine juxtaposed with some Plectranthus prostratus. This is the elephant bush and then these are the jelly bean succulents. Then this is the arrangement I had done earlier and you can see the plants here. So we have the Havortias, the ghost plant and the elephant bush. Then this has some Angelinas again, the Golem plant or the Shrek plant and the Chockstick plant which belongs to the same family as the String of Pearls. Fascinating isn't it? And yes, let's not forget these aloes as well. Then this is my hashtag sucky pot in a pot arrangement and you can see the plants are doing well. Some leaves have fallen and they've already formed baby succulents. The string of pearls look really healthy and is giving out new leaves. The only problem is with these stones, I would need to add some more pebbles to just give this a very refreshing look. Then let's look at this arrangement with the lovely 
plectranthus lox. So we have some Angelina sedums, the plectranthus prostratus, which belongs believe it or not to the oregano family that has a medicinal plant called the indian buraj in english pani kurka in malayalam or dodda patre in kannada this also gives a slightly similar aroma when you press its leaves so these are my dormant kalanchoes so the pruning etc was covered in another episode you can watch it above during its dormancy give it some rest shade and good drainage and it will rebloom again Take cuttings of this in early Jan or so to get new plants as well. So actually I was thinking of covering this topic on how to water your succulents properly for beginners in the same video but then I thought watering is a very essential aspect of growing succulents and should be covered in another episode. So I'm ending the succulent tour here. We'll come up with more information on succulent care very soon. So thank you for watching Urbanscape Bangalore. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Also, to get daily updates, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The link is given below. Until we meet again, a succulent. Goodbye.